Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 19th. 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, you know, something like that. The timing is fluid. We're just gonna, 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 we're gonna, 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 we're gonna, we're gonna get one of these, and, uh, just for the heck of it, I don't know why. I don't know why. I just was like, oh, I think I'm gonna get one of these today. So what do we have for a message today for the upcoming what week or something like this gonna happen in the next week? Something like that. Goddess of the moon. All is not as it seems. Your intuition is telling you something. What does your intuition tell you is going to happen in the next week? Because it's probably spot on. You're probably right. You may have been talking to the moon. That's what I just heard. Talking to the moon. You know, setting some sort of attentions. Maybe intentions. Maybe you set some intentions six months ago and now they're coming to fruition at this point. Um, something to do with the moon, something coming to fruition, a wish being granted of some sort. That's what this is. Some sort of wish being granted. Well, that's not going to work. about faith as well we think about seven seven is about faith and it's, an, it's seven is a number from heaven five plus two equals seven so yeah i think that some sort of wish is being granted it's like you've manifested something that's what i'm seeing here it's like you're in you set these intentions six months ago and here it is here it is Six of Pentacles reversed. Now, the Six of Pentacles reversed is greed. It's greed. There's an injustice. There's an in inequality. There's been some sort of theft or somebody may have given something with strings attached, right? It's like I, they gave it, but they had some sort of strings attached, so this is abuse of generosity or an abuse of power. This could also be a rejection. Hmm. Page of Cups. There could be a rejection here. There could this there could be. I mean, this is a unrequited love situation. Lack of reciprocation. Seriously, no reciprocation in love. Shattered dreams, perhaps. You know, somebody's dreams have been shattered. There's also somebody here that may be obsessed with their image. We could be dealing with a drama queen. Now, this is a rejection. We have a rejection here. And there could be, tear, there could be some tears. Something could be going away. And this is a child, and this is going away. And there could be a child that is being taken away. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but this is taken away. Okay, a rejection. There's a lack of equal give and take, a lack of reciprocation. And it doesn't have to be a child. It's like there's a, it's unrequited love. It's one-sided, one-sided love. Hmm. Eight of Wands. Now there's movement. Eight of Wands is movement. It is news arriving. Moving forward. Ready. Ready for some... Ready for a change. Somebody is ready for a change. They're sick of not getting any reciprocation. They're sick of not being loved. So somebody is definitely ready for a change. <coughs> Six of Cups. Now, Six of Cups can be a soulmate card. It's also uh, memories of love. It's nostalgia, remembering what love feels like. That is really what Six of Cups is about. Hmm. Memories of love. It could also be a reunion. There could be a reunion that is coming up. A reunion of soulmates. Now, this could even be somebody in a past life, so... Don't get all upset, you know. This is this is this is memories of love perhaps. I mean, there could be a reunion with somebody from the past and this could be somebody that, you know, from a past life. It doesn't have to even be in this lifetime. 
King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this guy takes action. He's got his eyes on something by the looks of things. He does. Looks like he's 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 definitely sees something that he is interested in. Okay, something may be reawakened. Okay. Um, the feelings of love, memories of love. This is what love really feels like. You know, if maybe we have somebody here, we have a king, the king of wands that has been in an unrequited love situation in the past, in the past, unrequited love where they didn't get reciprocation. They didn't get treated fairly. And now they're communicating with somebody that is making them feel loved, you know, making them feel, you know, um, Making him feel, put it that way. Looks like this guy is very interested by the looks of things. He may be starting to feel something. He's definitely like, hmm, this is, this is unbelievable. Communicating with somebody that, you know, is, uh, whew, wow. We definitely, uh, this is crazy. So, yeah, we have somebody here that is, is feeling it for sure. Feeling, maybe feeling a little bit of upheaval, maybe feeling a shock. Now, feeling this is electricity, okay? This is a shock. So we definitely have a king of wands here. This guy is noble. This guy is, uh, looks like he's, he's got his eye on something. He sees something. This guy, see, you can tell that he does. You can see that he sees some something. Now, the tower and death are both profound change. Very profound profound now this is shocked and this is a connection so we, we we could have somebody here that is shocked by a connection there is some sort of news that is arriving about uh an ending or something or i mean this is this is a this is a, a profound life change and this one is too and this is news arriving hmm now, this is chaos. This is upheaval. This is a, sh a sudden, a sudden ending, a sudden death. Okay, because it's, I mean, I'm sorry. It is, I can't, it is what it is. Sudden death. And it doesn't have to be an actual death, but this is a sudden ending, a sudden release, a sudden uh, new beginning, okay? Because endings lead to new beginnings. So, um, but this is memories. So that we definitely have some memories here and nostalgia, remembering what love is. Rem and, and there's been a lack of love. And now there's, there's, there's like, this is a... Uh, Taking away. This is taking away. It is the Six of Pentacles. So taking away. And this is an ending. Death is an ending. This is destruction and this is destruction. There's some sort of separation here that is leading to a new beginning. Okay? So a loss leads to a new beginning. So we do have a loss here. I mean, I... It is what it is. So we have a king of wands that has made a decision. And he's made some sort of... And maybe it's to rebuild. Okay? Because after a loss, all you can do is rebuild. After a loss of a foundation. But the tower is a major life change. It's a light being shed. It's a necessary evil. This is explosive. Okay? This is an explosion of some sort. death we have a new beginning we do we have a new beginning that is coming ten of pentacles now the ten of pentacles now this is going to have to do tens are completions they are now this could be the, 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 the a change in the family legacy a change in the home. Now this is a prosperity and abundance. Hmm. Hmm. 
we have the universe here. This is a major life change that is going to be shocking. It's a shock. We have an ending that is a shock. A shocking ending. Has to do with the home by the looks of things or a foundation, some sort of foundation is being shook. Six of Swords reverse, that's been reluctant to move on. Reluctant to take a new approach, staying in a troubled situation. We had somebody here that was really struggling, has been struggling, to leave this unrequited love situation. They've been struggling. They've been struggling to get to that better place. They've been struggling to walk away. They've been struggling to move forward. They've been staying in a place of disharmony and upheaval and uh, trouble. It's been troublesome, right? It's been turbulent. And it's been, it's been very... Uh, materialistically focused. I feel like we have somebody here that was in a relationship that was based on materials. You know, it was based on the house. It was based on the assets. It was based on the money. Somebody may have married for money. Now you gotta, you gotta, you go six, six, six. Six is the journey to balance and harmony, but we have these two sixes reversed. So somebody is taking that journey, but they have been in a situation that was very unharmonious. There was lot, they were lacking balance. It wasn't equal. Well, there wasn't equal give and take. There wasn't equal reciprocation. But it feels like now there's this like a sudden departure here. It's like a sudden. This is we already said it, a sudden death. This king of wands is in charge, okay? He's the, he's the boss. He's in charge. He's making a decision, and his decision is going to cause chaos, okay? Whatever he chooses to do is going to cause chaos. It's going to cause upheaval, probably in the home or in the family, because this is very family. The Ten of Pentacles. Somebody married for money or something like that. The tower is 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 big, okay? It's the universe causing massive change. Right next to the death card, I mean this is massive. There's gonna be uh, there's gonna be some sort of loss with these two cards right together. And it's a big one. And this loss is gonna stir up memories. It's gonna stir up feelings. Be prepared to hear some news, okay? <clears throat> this and and you know it could this could a new relationship is could be a shock okay because this is this is somebody that you are very compatible with this is compatibility this is a perfect match right this is unity this is love this is a happy couple this is a potential soulmate this is balance this is harmony this is a mutual attraction this is love and that is that's a, it's 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 a shock it is shock so I think we have this something to do with soulmates. I think we have a soulmate reunion here. And this could be somebody from a past life. You notice death, somebody from a past life. So I think that it is, it's, it's a shocking um, feeling that these, uh, the, these feelings of love have, have come up. I feel like things are progressing because these are the rods of love. The eight of wands is the rods of love. It's like things are moving forward very fast. And it's 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 crazy, right? It's it's shocking. So we do have um this is a partnership. This is a union. We have a union that is coming together. It's a new beginning. After there has been some sort of troublesome situation here it's been very troublesome there's been a lack of you know getting treated how you deserve it's like somebody who never got treated the way they were deserved to be treated and now they're being loved and it's a shock this is a shock that kind of thing for some of you now this is an opportunity to build a stable foundation with somebody but anyway, I feel as though um, 
somebody has manifested a profound change. Be prepared for something suddenly. This is a sudden change, okay? A sudden change. There's going to and it and it's, it's it is definitely a shock. And this is get prepared. Get prepared seriously. Something is about to happen that you have been waiting for. So get prepared. It's like you you asked for it. You did. I know that you did. So be, I think that we have two people that are coming together after a significant ending, after a significant, you know, jolt. Okay, it's like you're jolt, jolted. There's, there's been some sort of um, major disruption. There's been some sort of breakdown. There's been some sort of breakthrough. There's been some sort of painful release that allowed somebody to be available for this new beginning, whatever that means. Um, the tower comes in to break something down that is false so that you can have the new beginning that you deserve. So somebody wasn't getting what they deserved, but now they're about to. And I think there's a soulmate connection here. Okay, I do. I think that there is a soulmate connection here. I think this King of Wands is is making some decisions. Like he sees it. He sees that there is a connection. Um, somebody is leaving behind a very troublesome situation where they didn't get what they deserved, and it's like they're moving into something more I mean it's meant to be you take a look it's like it's meant to be it's it's like it's peaceful all right and this is the difficulty is over when you see a rainbow so this is there's it's just easy it's easy so somebody is moving into a beautiful easy connection after being in a destructive situation that came crumbling down it was a disaster okay now this is this is the the tower crumbles fast so something could be crumbling very very fast so something could hit the ground okay it they just it just hits the ground okay so be prepared for that something could hit the ground um I mean, this could lead to marriage. There's, there's something that, you know, there's a partnership here that we have a new partnership, a new beginning here after a major disruption. There's been chaos. There's been upheaval. But now these two soulmates are coming together. hermit this guy is coming out of hiding you notice he's he is he's coming out of hiding he's ready now this is becoming consciously aware this guy it has already taken the time to withdraw reversed this is depression we have somebody here that it doesn't want to be alone anymore now this when you get the star reversed it's a, it's a why 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 is this happening this all happened so that this person could go through an awakening this destructive relationship <clears throat> that didn't work out gave this person knowledge and wisdom and put them through some sort of awakening. That's why it happened. That's why they didn't get the reciprocation. Now they're a different person. But I feel like we have this individual who has lost hope. They've lost hope. Somebody may be saying why. 
they may be saying, why did this happen? Why did this happen? Why did this happen? So just be prepared. There could be, you know, somebody that, I mean, I, I'm not going to, I'm not, you already heard what I said a while at the beginning of this reading. There could be somebody that suddenly goes and somebody says, why, 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 why? There's a reason, okay? The hermit um, is somebody that is consciously aware. They're ready. They're ready. There's a reason. They've gained all the wisdom that they can gain, okay? They, they've, they've already reached that Jesus consciousness. They're ready. This is an, a very awakened individual who has reached the, you know, the highest awareness, really. So, you know... It may be hard to accept when somebody leaves, but this person has already done all their work or whatever the case is. I do apologize for that message, but I do see that two people are coming together that are meant to come together. And it may not be under the best circumstances, but it's a soulmate connection, okay? We could have something to do with an emperor. This is a father. This is a boss. This is somebody who takes charge. Goes for what they want. Has a plan. And goes for it. So it looks to me he has everything in order. And he's ready to make a move. So we do have somebody here that is about ready to make a move. He's ready. He's ready. So get prepared for a major life change. Because it looks like somebody is ready for their new life. And they're about to take charge and go after what they want. And things are going to happen fast. Somebody is leaving a loveless situation instantly. Good luck. <laughs> 